I'm bringing audio in. Audio is live. Give me pop. As soon as we hear pop, we're going to go. I'm ready. Go for pop.
Christ as he is known in his church. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ty Duggan. It is my privilege to welcome you to class of 2020 graduates, our family, and faculty to our graduation ceremony this evening. I am honored to share God's word with you all tonight. Please, if you will, bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for these past four years of memories of life lessons. I ask that you be with each of my fellow classmates, keep them safe, and help them find success in everything that they do. From this day forward, whether it is on the job, advancing their education, or joining the armed forces, please let them know not to let anyone determine their worth in life. That is between them and God to decide. For those going to protect our great nation, I pray that you bring them back safely. To their families, I ask that wherever life takes them, that you will follow and be their shield. I pray that you, excuse me, I pray that when they call out to you, they are able to find the strength that only you can provide. As the Bible states in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I pray with a heavy heart for all our families who have been affected by the coronavirus and are not able to be with us today. Lord, let them find comfort in you. Lord, I lift all of your children sitting before you tonight up to you and ask that they know they are truly loved by you and through your alone. They will continue to find their strength and soar of the wings like the eagles. I ask that you keep us all within your reach as we pray the prayer Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Ty. Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, I'm Bobby Atchley, and it's my honor and privilege to serve as the principal of Rock High School. And in case you were wondering, no, we did not get a chance to practice this before we came out tonight. So be, uh, be patient with us, and we will make it a wonderful evening. I'd like to join Ty in welcoming everyone as we celebrate the accomplishments of the great senior class of 2020. At this time, I would like to introduce the salutatorian of the senior class of 2020. Ms. Taylor Shupik is the daughter of Michael and Shana Shupik and a big sister to Jordan. Taylor will be attending Angelo State University next fall. She will be majoring in nursing with a minor in psychology. Please, if you would, welcome Taylor Schupe. Good evening, parents, faculty, family and friends, and lastly, my fellow classmates. It is an honor to be standing here as the salutatorian of my senior class. Getting up here and speaking in front of all of you is not the most comfortable thing for me to do, but somehow I managed the courage to do it. Before I begin, I would like to thank everyone who was able to attend tonight for being here to celebrate the accomplishments of the senior class. I think I speak for everyone when I say we could not have done it without you. So for that, we thank you. You have developed us into the people we are today and prepared us for adulthood, whether we feel ready for it or not. In typical senioritis fashion, I was procrastinating writing this and looking up ideas on how to begin. However, this year is obviously turning out to be different from the rest. So with that being said, I figured I would start by addressing that. A few months ago, we were sitting in the classroom, going to practices, getting a great start to our spring seasons, and having so many things to look forward to in our last few months of high school. We were going about our normal routine, completely unaware that it would be cut short. That last day of school, Friday the 13th, ironically enough, we had no idea how the new virus was going to affect the rest of the year, thinking we would only be out for a few short weeks. I can't speak for everyone, but when I was told we wouldn't be going back and everything was canceled, I was devastated, and I'm, I know many of you felt the same way. But as many parents would say, welcome to adulthood. It's not always fair. While this was a hard pill to swallow, I've come to realize a few key takeaways that we can carry with us into the next chapter of our lives. As the quarantine class, the class of 2020 possesses great strength. We have been through some challenging times and accepting our losses will only make us stronger. We are resilient. 
We will overcome this and continue on into our adult lives, looking back on this one day and having quite a story to tell. In our next chapter, some of us will go directly into the workforce, others will join the military, and many are going off to college. Whatever path we choose to take, I believe that each and every one of us are capable of success. Success is not easy, and it will take a lot of work, studying, and perseverance, but it is possible. Each of us have the dedication it takes within us. We just have to apply it in order to reach our goals. I wanted to mention a few cliches that I've heard many times before, but seem to apply well to this particular situation that we can carry with us into the future. Enjoy the little things. Make the most out of everything you do. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Take advantage of every opportunity while you can. And never lose hope when times get hard. Our senior year has definitely taught us to cherish what we have when we have it. I wish each and every one of you the best of luck on your new journeys, and I can't wait to see the amazing things that I know our class will do through the years. Thank you for everything Brock High School, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, Taylor. It's now my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the senior class of 2020. In, in all of our uh, graduation ceremonies, we try to recognize those that have enlisted or planning on enlisting into the uh, military. It just so happens that uh, we do have one enlisting this year, and it happens to be our valedictorian. Healy Dent will be joining the United States Marine Corps. Ms. Dent is the daughter of Sean and Coney Dent. Healy will be enlisting in the United States Marine Corps pursuing either analytical or linguistic intelligence with a desire to move into counterintelligence. So with all of that intelligence, it's a good thing she's our valedictorian. Let me introduce Keely Dent. Good evening and congratulations, class of 2020 graduates. We did it. Before I begin, I would like to take a moment and recognize those who have made being on this stage possible. To Mr. Ashley, Coach Joy, and faculty at Brock High School, you have stood by all of us during this challenging time to ensure that we could walk this stage today. I believe I speak for the entire senior class when I say we could not be more thankful. I would like to thank the coaching staff for pursuing our physical well-being alongside the academic. For many of the students on this field, you have been more than just coaches. You have been mentors, friends, and even family. Specifically, I would like to take a moment and thank Ms. Kelly, Mr. White, and Ms. Wilcox for being a prominent influence in my life. Not only did I rely on each of you for academic and personal assistance throughout high school, many of my fellow students here today did as well. On behalf of this senior, this senior year's class, I would like to thank all the parents here tonight. For the past 18 years, you have prepared us for this day. Whether that be college, work, or even the military, none of us would be here today if it were not for your constant dedication. In the end, this night is for you, the parents. And lastly, I would like to thank my parents, Sean and Coney Dent, for pushing me each and every day to be the best version of myself and for supporting me through every decision I have made over the past four years. And to my brother and sister, Rosie and Aspen, thank you for everything and being by my side. To the class of 2020, we did not give up. Our class has demonstrated what it means to rise above. We have overcome every obstacle laid in front of us thus far. We have grown up in an age where we've been plagued by terrorism, hatred, and disasters. I am sure I speak for the majority here today when I say the class of 2020 has undoubtedly been cursed. We were born in a world shook by the September 11th attacks and we will leave high school behind in the shadows of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have lived through the swine flu and market crash of 2008, and we have overcome the initial outbreak of SARS in 2002. Despite the obstacles that have been thrown at us over the past 18 years, we have overcome. And here we are today, graduates. Staff Sergeant John Trickler of the United States Marine Corps once said, I can make my life how I want it. Everything in the past is already done. You cannot change the last chapter, for it is already written. But this very second, you are writing your book of life. As we leave this field, we officially turn the page on this chapter of our lives. However, we begin to write a new one. 
A good story cannot be written without some sort of lesson, and in each lesson is a challenge that must be prevailed. If we can all just look back at the small feats we have already faced, we can see that we are a powerful group of students. Each of us have fought our own battles, mentally and physically, yet here we are today. Every chapter in your book will be filled with pain, happiness, struggle, and triumph. These chapters will have new friends, new pains and sorrows, happiness and more unknowns. But I encourage each of you to look forward to these new chapters you will soon begin to write. Unfortunately, many of us often spend our lives doing what we were trained to do. Some do what they were asked to do, and most of us do what others need us to do. And all the while, we wonder why the feeling of fulfillment eludes us. I challenge each one of you today not to spend your lives having others write your story. Your life is your own to write, so do what makes you happy. Follow your chosen path. This is your book, and this is our story. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you very much, Keely. At this time, I'd like to recognize the senior members of the National Honor Society. If you would please stand. Senior members of the National Honor Society. In the past year, this group has done over 860 hours of community service throughout the Brock community. A special thank you to those students and sponsors, Ms. Whitehead and Ms. Brunner. Thank you all very much. Okay, you can be seated. A special thank you tonight to Teresa Wilcox. Ms. Wilcox has orchestrated graduation for several years and does an amazing job. Her constant communication with our senior families and organization has helped us this evening, and it's made it happen. Thank you again, Ms. Wilcox, for all of your efforts. I would like to take just a moment to share some thoughts with the class of 2020. Uh, it was my pleasure to teach around 75% of this group when they were kids and eighth graders at Brock Junior High. They were my final group to teach before I moved on to the administration side. And this is a special bond that we've built through the years, and with those teachers in the audience, they can attest to that also. Y'all need to know that we love you all very much, very dearly, and wish the best for all of you as you move on to that next phase of your life. My goal as you start that phase is for you to be a difference maker in whatever area you end up. I love what both Keeley and Taylor had to say, and the fact that there's gonna be some ups and downs. I want to share two positive reminders that, I, uh, that author John Gordon published over the last couple of months that I really uh, have found myself drawn to. Number one, every day is a day to focus on what we get to do instead of what we have to do. Life is a gift, not an obligation. Number two, this is a good one. If they praise you, show up and do the work. If they criticize you, show up and do the work. If no one even notices you're there, show up and do the work. Just keep showing up, doing the work, and leading the way. It's been an honor over the last two years with this group to reconnect with my former students and to also get to know those ones that I didn't have the privilege of teaching in the eighth grade. Class of 2020, you will be missed. Before we invite Dr. Smith to come to the podium and begin our official certification process, we still have a small window to celebrate these students as seniors before they are officially alumni. Would you please join me in recognizing this great group of men and women, the 2020 senior class of Brock High School? We were, when we were walking from the uh, school to here, Ricky Evans asked, why aren't they standing and applauding? Well, Ricky, there you go, okay? There you go. 
Dr. Smith, would you please join me in certifying our seniors for graduation, please? Will the candidates for graduation please stand? The Brock Independent School District requires that students meet established criteria for participation in this ceremony. All students participating in this ceremony have satisfactorily completed these requirements. Ladies and gentlemen and members of the Brock ISD Board of Trustees, the Superintendent of Schools, it is my distinct honor to certify that before you tonight, this Brock High School class of 2020 has met every requirement as determined by the state of Texas and the Brock Independent Board of Trustees. Ladies and gentlemen, I certify these graduates. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite Brock High School Assistant Principal Greg Joy to the podium as we begin our presentation of diplomas. Coach Joy. Abram Joshua Alleman. Tyler Austin Allen. Ethan Avery Arispe. Zaylin Allen Arispe. Matthew Cole Attaway. Stephen Dean Bear. Levi Dane Beecham. Jacob Alexander Becker. Haley Ann Blankenship. Tyler Reed Boyer. Sawyer Shea Brackney. Bailey Jean Brantley. Chance Richard Burton. <laughs> Abigail Judith Kearley. <laughs> Ethan Ryan Clapp. <laughs> Morgan Ashley Clapp. Savannah Michelle Clausen. Hunter Scott Clayton. Zane Thomas Cook. Madison Faith Cook. Hey! 
Carson Marcus Crockett. Laney Kathleen Dale. Riley Rex Davis. Keely Christine Dent. Alec Micah Doskasil. Blake William Drillette. Tyler Michael Duggan. Claire Ellen Duvall. Richard Doyle Evans. Abigail Reese Fairman. Jackson Sinclair Finney. Cody D. Frazier. Chandler Evan Fries. Jack Keenum Fox. Claire Norell Green. Clayton Heath Groves. Drake Austin Galandi. Alessandro Kiko Gutierrez. Catherine Elizabeth Hall. Jesse Blake Hallmark. <clears throat> Peyton Reese Hernandez. Brayton Kirk. Karen Chitty. Landry Edward Holcomb. Nathan Christopher Holcomb. Coleman Lee. Holt. Hunter Ann Hutchins. Kayla Mariah Kenyon. Nicholas Joseph Kern. Thomas Alexander Kinzer. Lauren Grace Kaiser.
Alicia Marie Lee. Emery Elizabeth Leach. Olivia Grace Lewis. Logan Dean Lightfoot. Dayton Cade McDonald. Mary Elizabeth Mann. Zachary Tyler Matsky. Kaylee Reese Makeda. Sloan Simpson McGuire. Madison Moname Mitchell. Landon Kelly Moon. Garrett Charles Moore. Carter Edward Moxley. Taylor Nicole Mueller. Madison Taylor Murley. Peyton Dean Murley. Colin Michael O'Grady. Marshall Joe Peacock. Paige Elizabeth Perks. Caleb Daniel Hopek. Lorena Emily Regalado. Grace Elaine Rohde. Evan Grace Roberts. Taylor Diane Shupik. Zodiac Star Smithwick. Maxton Samuel Stava. Jessica Renee Steele. Steely Jade Steiner. Athena Kayan Talley. Luke Tyler Tapera. K. 
Kaslin Lee Tidmore. Kyler Allen Tolls. Kelsey Jane Tonups. J. Brett Lynn Turner. Mackenzie Nicole Turner. Ashlyn Blair Tutter. Samantha Lynn Underwood. Jose Manuel Vela. Max Leland Washburn. Aaron August Welch. Luke Brady Williams. Jonathan David Wilson. Jerilyn Michelle Wright. Thank you, Coach Joy, and thank you to our graduates and guests. Will you all please rise as we sing our school song? So, uh, did I mention we did not practice this today? At, uh, we, we got a little ahead of ourselves on, uh, on the hat toss there real quick. All right, did everybody find their seat again? <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, with the Brock High Class of 2020, please stand. We're going to take the tassel from our right side. And in just a moment, we're going to move it. But I want everybody in the audience, if you don't have your cameras rolling, you might want to get those going. Because in just a moment, we're going to have a little bit of excitement from a surprise. I don't want it to catch anybody off guard. So let's take that tassel and let's move it from the right side to the left side.
and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure and privilege and honor to present to you the Brock High School Class of 2020. Let those hats fly. Song always be sung. May you stay. 